Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at problems from Unit 4, the graphing uh, problem sets. And we're going to look at how we can use a software tool to help us figure out the solutions to these graphs uh, much faster than doing a manual plot. So I'm going to look at, first of all, here at problem 5a. Now, this problem here has the form y is greater than 2x plus 1. So we know how we would plot this manually. Um, it involves putting the equation into the slope intercept form and then picking out the appropriate properties of that equation and then plotting the line and then also figuring out where we would have to shade that line. All right, so it's, um, it, it's a lot of mechanical work, a lot of in, in terms of the graphing. It's important that you do understand how to do that. But at some point when you start getting more equations or you're looking for more information from these lines, it's nice to have to have a tool that will let you do much of that for you. So I'm going to switch over to my web browser. I'm going to uh, show you a website here. This is called desmos.com. So I'm just going to reload it. Um, and this is a graphing calculator tool that's very, very powerful, very, very easy to use. And it's, it's going to let you explore a little bit about the concepts of the math that you're learning um, rather than focusing so much on the graphing techniques around it. So I'm just going to hit start graphing and it will load up our blank page that we saw previously. So what we get here on the right side is a X and Y axis, which is just an empty grid. Um, it's scalable using the plus and minus keys, so you can zoom in and zoom out as needed. And then on the left side, we have blank rows where we can actually just type in um, a line, an equation, or an expression of some kind, and it will automatically start to graph it for us. So to do that, click in the uh, lower left corner. It will bring up a keypad where we can then type in any algebraic expression in pretty much most any form and the system will attempt to interpret to graph it. So our first equation was y is greater than, so I just hit the key pad here, the letter y, the greater than sign, and then we can type in 2x, okay, and you can see the computer starting to graph the item for us, and then I go plus 1 to complete the equation. Okay, and I can hide the keypad and then take a look at what I got. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can find some of the critical points that you start to look at and that we're interested in. So this is the equation that um, we would have plotted manually on the paper graph, but it's done for us essentially instantaneously with the software. Now a couple things to note. Um, you see that you have a dashed line here, and re remember why it's a dashed line. It's because we don't have, um, it's greater than, um, it's just y greater than 2x plus 1. There's no equals. Um, sign involved in that inequality. So that means the boundary, um, essentially the boundary condition, which is represented by the line, okay, is not included. So we, we create that as a dashed line. And the shaded region for this equation is also above the line. So you can see that where it's shaded, um, that is the solution for points x and y that make this equation true. All right, and then some of the um, critical points that you see here, um, for example, if I click on the 1 on the y-axis and then just hover over it, that will tell me what the intercept is. So we didn't have to go back and plot the intercept or figure it out from the equation. We can get it right off the graph and see that it is 0, 1. And then if we were also interested in the x intercept, we can find that and you can click on that and it will highlight the point and provide you the value for that. Okay, so this is a very uh, quick way to do a question like that where you're, because what we're really trying to get interested in this point is what are the properties of this graph um, rather than worrying so much about how to plot it. So I'm just going to go look at another one. So I'm going to switch back to our problem set. I'm going to scroll down into question 5b. So this question was set up a little bit differently. Um, it's not in a form where we have y equals mx plus b, so we have to do a little bit of algebra in order to manipulate it and then isolate what our slope and our intercept is. So an easier way, again, would be to just go into Desmos. And what I can do, the nice thing about this, is I can hide one of my equations. So I don't even have to start a new um, graph set. I can just click on the color and it will hide it and then click into the second row. And then we're going to type that equation in exactly as the question it was written in the question. So it's y minus 5 less than or equal to, so it's a different inequality, and then we're going to go minus 3x. So that is 
the negative sign in front of the three. Then I'm going to hide the equation. Let's just zoom out a little bit so we can see where the line is. And this gives us the shape of this graph. So we can see that the inequality here is shaded below the line. And it's also got a negative slope. And we can also click and find our intercepts if that was something that we needed. Okay, so this is a very quick way for you to check your work and look at equations um, that could be a little bit more complicated without you having to rearrange them. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is that what if we wanted to see what both of these equations look like plotted on the same graph? Well, I can just hide or sorry, enable the first one. Okay, show and hide them and then show both of them together and see that we're where they overlap. So you can see that there is a common shaded region for both of these equations. Okay, and there are some critical points here that you can click on specifically where they these two boundary lines intercept. Okay, and you can click on it and mouse over it and it'll give you the point where where those two lines uh, meet and that's a common solution to both of those regions. Okay, so this is a concept that we're going to use um, later on in this unit where we look at optimization. But for now, um, I just wanted to show you how you can use this tool to plot equations, check your work, and see if what you're doing um, is starting to make sense. Okay, so um, I'd encourage you to use this tool. It's something that um, it's available for you to use, and especially as a learning tool, to try to understand what the math is telling you in these expressions rather than get sort of probably bogged down in the actual graphing or the mechanics of it. All right, so hopefully this was helpful and I encourage you to go and check out this website and try some of the problems um, that you may have gone through.